And when you go to wash it off with water, that smudge, that stain of death and ashes that tells you you're going to die, wash it off with water and remember your baptism. What's up, YouTube? Ryan here. Welcome back to 1517 Films, where on every episode, I'm always contending for the faith once for all delivered to the saints. And today, we're talking about to ash or not to ash. Stick around. <music> That's right, today is Ash Wednesday, and for many Christians of many different denominations, to start their Lenten journey, they are going to church and receiving what is called the imposition of ashes. And we are going to talk about whether or not you should or you shouldn't. And if theological conversation like this is something that you're into, then I highly recommend subscribing to the channel, ringing the notification bell to stay up to date, sharing any information you find pertinent with your friends on other social media platforms, and as always, meet me down in the comment section below. We'll talk about it. So we're talking about to ash or not to ash, and I think I can safely say that it's as plain as the, well, ash on my face where I landed on it as a matter of personal choice today. I went to the, to the church attached to my children's school and received the imposition of ashes. And how it was done there, we prayed the litany and we went up and the pastor marked us with the cross and said, Remember, O man, that thou art dust, and to dust thou shalt return. Now, of course, obviously, the rest of the service goes on. There is absolution. There is the receiving of the sacrament of the altar. And thus begins the Lenten journey. But for many Christians, even in liturgical settings, and Lutherans being no exception, there is an idea that you maybe shouldn't participate in the imposition of ashes. So whether you should or you shouldn't, as a matter of biblical accuracy and, and fidelity to scriptures and our faith, it's entirely up to you. It is entirely up to you whether or not you want to begin your Lenten journey by receiving the ashes on your forehead or not. I am going to strive to put a very well-written article in the comment section below, a link to it uh, in the description below, I should say, as to why some Lutherans choose not to receive the ashes on Ash Wednesday. It is very well written. It is very well articulated. And I fully respect those Lutherans who choose on their Lenten journey not to begin with the imposition of ashes. I think they make an incredible point. And as we were reading through the Gospel of Matthew today at the Ash Wednesday service, and it talked about, praying in secret, fasting in secret, not being flashy or showy about your repentance and your prayer and your fasting. So it does seem kind of counterintuitive to wear a cross on your head all day. Some Christians do. Some Christians wash it off right away. And I, in the past, have suggested if you're going to wash the ashes off right away, my recommendation is to wash it with the water in the baptismal font, remembering your baptism. Now, there are benefits to at least receiving the cross on your forehead, maybe not wearing it all day, but certainly to receiving it. The ashes for Ash Wednesday come from the palm branches from the previous Palm Sunday. They are burned, they are mixed with oil, and they are placed on your forehead where that cross was put on your forehead when you were baptized, marking you as one redeemed by Christ the crucified. And so now also part and parcel to the Matthew reading, which is incredibly vital to us as Christians about how we should pray and how we should fast and how we should be penitent, there is the reading from Joel, which makes blatant reference to, to ashes and sackcloth. And so we can't just pit these two verses against each other. These two verses are both true. And so whether you ash or not is a matter of personal conscience. And whether you wear them all day or not is a matter of personal 
conscience. Remember, the important thing is not whether or not you got them. And please don't think that getting them or not getting them makes you more righteous than someone else. You're missing the entire point on either side of the argument if you think that. So if you choose to wear them all day, then remember that it is our hearts and not our garments. You know, rend your heart, not your garment. That it is our heart that you know, Jesus says these people worship me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. So if you're going to wear them all day, please don't wear them all day to be flashy and showy in front of people. Rather, from your heart, let the confession flow that from dust you are and to dust you shall return. That you are stained, marred with sin. Let that be your confession. If you choose to wear the ashes all day, let this be a sign on your forehead that you are a sinner and you deserve to die. But also is the promise in the shape of the cross that Christ took on our human flesh, bore our sins, died our death, rose again, and gives to us his righteousness his forgiveness. And this is why we return to the Lord, because he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. And he demonstrates his love for us in this, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So if you did get the ashes, that's awesome. And if you choose to wear them all day, please let it serve as a reminder to yourself that you are a sinner and that Christ has died for you. And in your baptism, you were buried with him into that death and raised with him to newness of life. And when you go to wash it off with water, that smudge, that stain of death and ashes that tells you you're going to die, wash it off with water and remember your baptism that you have been buried into Christ's death and raised with him to newness of life. So whether or not you get the ashes is entirely up to you. Whether or not I should have worn them in this video is entirely up to me. And whether or not I'm going to wash them off when I'm done recording is entirely up to me. But let your heart make the confession. Please don't wear the ashes as a sign of your righteousness. And if you don't get the ashes, that's really good too. And for people like you who are reluctant to do it and think maybe you shouldn't, I hope sincerely that I can get that article linked in the description below for all the reasons why many churches choose not to do the imposition of ashes on Ash Wednesday. It's a long read, but a good read. So wear the ashes as a sign and a confession to the world that you are a sinner. Remember, we boast in nothing except for our own weakness so that Christ might be glorified. So let the ashes be, if anything, a boasting in your weakness. But go about your day of normal cheer with a clean heart and a clean conscience because you have been marked with the cross of Christ and there is now no condemnation for you. God's richest blessings to you in this Lenten tide. May you return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Until next time, may God richly bless you in the grace and mercy won for you by Jesus' vicarious death on the cross for all of your sins.